Okay, so DNA amplification. DNA amplification is simply the process of a of forming large amounts of DNA from a single strand or a small amount. You can either do it in vivo or via in vitro techniques. Okay, so firstly let's talk about in vivo. In vivo usually talks about um, transforming host cells. So the first step is to to insert the DNA fragment into a vector DNA. So firstly, this could either be plasmids or small bacteriophages, such as viruses that infect bacteria. The vector DNA is cut open using the same restriction endonuclease that was used to isolate the DNA fragment containing the target gene. This is so that their complementary sticky ends formed. The vector DNA and the DNA fragment are then mixed together via DNA ligase and when this is combined this is called recombinant DNA. So the next step involves the vector with the recombinant DNA being transferred into the cells. If plasmid is used then the bacterial cells are placed in the ice called calcium chloride and then the plasmids are added and then heat shocked so that they're taken up. Next identification occurs is when fluorescence or antibiotic is is determined. This happens when the host and a marker gene such as fluorescence is grown together on an agar plate and then detected via UV light or some sort of resistance. Now let's look at in vitro techniques such as PCR. Firstly, a cuvette containing primers, DNA sample, free nucleotides, known as DNTPs, and DNA polymerase are added together. This sample is then allowed to be heated up to 95 degrees Celsius, and this is to break the hydrogen bonds that occur between the two strands of DNA. The mixture is then cooled to between 50 and 65 degrees Celsius, and this is so that the primers can anneal to the strands and begin replication. Then the mixture is heated to 72 degrees Celsius so that DNA polymerase can work. The DNA polymerase lines up free DNA, DNTPs, alongside each template strand and base pairing occurs, meaning complementary strands are formed. Then this process is repeated many times to get large, large amounts of the DNA molecule.